ever wondered why you have your mother's eyes or your father's nose? These traits, and indeed, all the traits that make you uniquely you, are written in a code more complex than any artificial language, the language of DNA. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is the building block of life, a genetic blueprint that dictates your physical characteristics. From the color of your hair to your susceptibility to certain diseases, it's all laid out in the intricate structure of your DNA. This microscopic double helix is a marvel of nature, a testament to the complexity and beauty of life itself. It's like a storybook of your life, written in a language that every single cell in your body understands. It guides their function, their growth, their very existence. So when we delve into the mysteries of DNA, we're really exploring the story of life itself. In essence, DNA is the storybook of your life, written in a language that cells understand. Imagine a twisted ladder or a spiral staircase. That's what DNA looks like. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is arranged in a double helix structure, resembling a twisted ladder. This intricate structure was discovered in the early 50s by scientists James Watson and Francis Crick. So, what makes up this twisted ladder? It's built from repeating units called nucleotides. Each nucleotide consists of three parts, a sugar molecule, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. The sugar and phosphate form the backbone of the DNA, or the sides of our ladder, while the nitrogenous bases form the rungs. Now let's talk about these rungs. There are four different nitrogenous bases in DNA, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. They're often abbreviated as A, T, C, and G, these bases pair up in a very specific way to form the rungs of the DNA ladder. Adenine always pairs with thymine and cytosine always pairs with guanine. This is known as base pairing. Why is base pairing important? This simple rule ensures the accuracy of DNA replication, allowing DNA to reproduce itself accurately and effectively. Because of this, every cell in your body, barring a few exceptions, contains the exact same DNA. The DNA's double helix structure is not just aesthetically pleasing, it's extremely functional. The twist in the DNA helps to compact the molecule, allowing it to fit inside the tiny nucleus of a cell. But don't be fooled by its compact size. If you were to unravel the DNA in just one of your cells and stretch it out, it would measure about six feet long. The structure of DNA also allows it to store vast amounts of information. This information written in a genetic code of A, T, C, and G, is what makes you, you. From the color of your eyes to your ability to roll your tongue, it's all written in your DNA. The structure of DNA is not just beautiful, it's functional, allowing it to store vast amounts of information. The DNA in your cells is like an intricate recipe, dictating your unique traits. Picture your DNA as an enormous cookbook, filled with countless recipes. Each recipe corresponds to a specific trait, such as the color of your eyes, the texture of your hair, or even your height. The ingredients in these recipes are the nucleotides, the building blocks of DNA, which come in four types, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. Just as the order of ingredients and steps in a recipe determines the final dish, the sequence of these nucleotides within your DNA instructs your body on how to build and maintain itself. This is what we call the genetic code. Imagine a simple dish like a bowl of pasta. If you change one ingredient, replacing the spaghetti with penne, you'll end up with a different dish. Similarly, a change in the sequence of nucleotides, what scientists call a mutation, can lead to different traits. Some of these changes might be harmless, like having freckles or being able to roll your tongue. Others, however, can lead to genetic disorders, like cystic fibrosis or sickle cell anemia. The genetic code doesn't stop at physical traits. It also plays a role in our behavior, our intelligence, and even our susceptibility to certain diseases. For example, some people have a genetic predisposition to high cholesterol or diabetes. Understanding these predispositions can help us take preventive measures and live healthier lives. In essence, the genetic code is the language of life, a complex set of instructions that shapes who we are. It's like a symphony, with each instrument playing its part to create a unique melody. That melody is you, 
a unique combination of traits that make you, well, you. So the next time you look in the mirror, remember, you're looking at the result of billions of years of evolution, written in a language only your cells can understand. From the color of your eyes to your ability to roll your tongue, the genetic code in DNA is the author of your unique story. DNA does more than just determine our physical traits. It's also central to the field of genetics. Delving into the microscopic world, DNA is the cornerstone of genetics. It's the long, coiled ladder of life that carries instructions for all the proteins your body needs to function. Each rung of this ladder is a pair of nucleotides, forming the genetic code that influences everything from your eye color to your susceptibility to certain diseases. In the realm of genetics, DNA plays a pivotal role. When cells divide, DNA replicates, passing on these instructions to the next generation of cells. But sometimes, this process doesn't go perfectly. Errors can occur, leading to changes in the DNA sequence. We call these changes mutations. Mutations are like typos in a manuscript. Some are harmless, merely adding a bit of genetic flavor without causing any real changes. Others, however, can have serious consequences leading to genetic disorders like cystic fibrosis or Huntington's disease. But here's the silver lining. By studying DNA and understanding how these mutations occur, scientists can gain insights into these diseases. This knowledge is paramount in developing strategies for prevention and treatment. For instance, genetic research has led to the development of gene therapy, a promising field that seeks to treat diseases by altering or replacing faulty genes. This is like correcting the typos in our genetic manuscript, potentially leading to cures for previously untreatable conditions. Furthermore, the study of DNA isn't just about addressing health issues, it's also a powerful tool in understanding our past. Through genetic research, we can trace our ancestry, discover our ancient origins, and even learn about extinct species. In essence, DNA is our personal blueprint, a treasure trove of information about who we are, where we come from, and how we live. It's the key to understanding the very fabric of life itself. Understanding DNA is like unlocking a secret code that can help us prevent and treat genetic diseases. The study of DNA has revolutionized medical research. The understanding of this genetic blueprint has unleashed a new era in medicine, where the impossible is becoming possible. Imagine a world where doctors could tailor treatments specifically to your genetic makeup, reducing the risk of adverse effects. Welcome to the world of personalized medicine, a direct result of our growing knowledge of DNA. By analyzing a patient's genetic profile, doctors can predict how they might respond to certain drugs and therapies, leading to more effective treatments with fewer side effects. Now, let's consider the power of gene therapy, another breakthrough in the world of medicine. This innovative treatment involves modifying or replacing faulty genes to cure genetic diseases. It's like fixing a typo in a book using the power of DNA sequencing and genetic engineering. It's not just a theory anymore. Gene therapy has already shown promising results in treating diseases like cystic fibrosis and certain types of blindness. Let's not forget the role of DNA in understanding and controlling infectious diseases. The ongoing global pandemic has underscored the importance of genetic sequencing in identifying new virus strains and developing effective vaccines. By studying the genetic code of viruses, scientists are better equipped to predict how they might evolve and how to combat them. Moreover, the study of DNA has also given birth to regenerative medicine. Scientists are now able to reprogram cells to become different types of tissue, like heart or brain cells. This could potentially replace damaged organs without the need for a transplant, offering new hope to millions of patients worldwide. But we're just scratching the surface. Every day, scientists are making new discoveries and every breakthrough brings us one step closer to a future where diseases might be a thing of the past. From curing genetic diseases to personalizing medicine, DNA continues to shape the future of healthcare. Our understanding of DNA has not only revolutionized medicine, but also our very perception of what is possible. 
The story of DNA is indeed the story of us, and it's a story that's still being written. So, what have we learned about DNA today? We've delved into the double helix structure of DNA, the architectural marvel that carries our genetic code. We've explored how this code translates into our unique human traits, shaping our appearances, behaviors, and even susceptibilities to certain diseases. We've also uncovered how DNA plays a pivotal role in genetics, serving as the blueprint for all life. It instructs our cells, dictates our development, and even impacts our evolution. Moreover, we've seen how DNA has revolutionized medical research. From identifying the genetic basis of diseases to developing targeted treatments, DNA sequencing has opened up a new world of possibilities. In essence, DNA is not just a molecule. It's a storybook, a manual, a map. It's the essence of who we are and what we could become. So, here's to the power of DNA. The storyteller of our past, the architect of our present, and the visionary of our future. From the blueprint of life to the frontier of medical research, DNA indeed holds the power to the story of our genes.